Hey, quick video for uh, Daz Mode, who asked me quite a while back if I would please make a video showing what poison ivy looks like, because sometimes it's difficult to identify it. The reason so is that poison ivy varies a lot from plant to plant. Even on the same plant, it can vary. So here's a pretty robust specimen here that's been trying to infest my yard. Okay, I'm not really that uh, affected by poison ivy. I can handle it and stuff. Uh, look at this leaf, okay? It's almost round. But look at these. See, they have this irregular lobe pattern. But that's not the way they always look. They look different ways. Here's, here's some down in here. You can see how dark green these babies are. See? But they also can appear extremely light green. And in the fall, they can turn yellow and orange. Uh, they have a, a deep reddish colored vine, which is kind of a sign a general sign. If it has a red vine, not to touch because it will make you itch or give you some kind of reaction. Things like poison oak, poison sumac, poison ivy all have red vines. So that's, this is poison ivy. And you notice it has almost a smooth side and then a couple of lobes. But I'm going to show you some others that are, they're different. Poison ivy, it varies a lot. Uh, over here, let me just walk over and try not to smack myself into anything unfortunately around here but yeah here's some more okay so you can see these guys the, the the veins really stand out on these guys like almost light green veins have that irregular lobe okay but look at how light green these guys are new growth and uh, depending on weather conditions can be extremely light green these have a more ragged looking edge than the others. Here's some that have a real jagged edge. See that jagged edge on this guy? Right here. See how jagged that is? <coughs> but the one thing you'll notice on all of them is you'll have two leaves with a short stem. See that? And then you'll have the center leaf with the longer stem. And they'll have an irregular edge on them. It's not always the same. There's a lot of other plants which you may think, oh my god, it's got three leaves. You know, here's a plant with three leaves. Okay. But this is a bramble. You can see the needle-like thorns, tiny little thorns all over it. Really break off easy and catch in your flesh. Make you want to avoid it. It has little berries that form on it. Uh, here's another thing that you, people might think, oh my gosh, what is this? Could this be poison ivy? No, not at all. Just another wild plant, but it's not poison ivy. Here's a wild strawberry. Wild strawberries, man, let me give you a good look at this guy. Wild strawberries have very, very pronounced grains or seeds on the outside. Very small fruit that's white on the inside. Very bitter. And uh, if you were to eat these, I'm sure it would give you the runs. But, yep, wild strawberry. Uh, a lot of different kinds of wild plants here. As you can see, lots of bramble, which is awesome because bramble keeps people from coming up this side of the hill for sure, man. You wouldn't want to crawl through that, trust me. You don't have to worry about any kind of animals or people wandering through your bramble patch, usually, unless they're small animals. Now over here is something that's related to the bramble, but this is actually a cultivated plant. This is a rose. This is a rose that was planted here by the uh, previous owners many, many years ago. As you can see, it's getting ready to bud. And it does great. I don't do a thing to it. This is English ivy, which the previous owner planted. You can see the thorns on the rows are much, much larger, and they don't break off easily. So that's different than the bramble. Uh, another species, which I almost consider to be an invasive species, is this plant here that has the long tropical looking leaves and puts out an orange blossom at certain times of the year. And uh, it grows super fast and the roots can do a lot of damage to foundations and to buildings because it grows so incredibly fast and it overgrows all the other plants in the area. As you can see we've got a mixed hardwoods here. These are oaks and maples, poplars, uh, ash, locust primary ones. Here's a beautiful spider web. Can you see the beautiful dew pattern on that? Man, that is perfect. Beautiful, regular 
And uh, there's another one that's super fast growing. See how fast it grows and how tall it grows. It gets up into the little patches where there's some light. Starts taking over. Here's an another one starting to see how it's starting to overshadow these guys. This thing wasn't even here a year ago. That's how fast they grow. It takes them about uh, about two years to get this big. See how big that thing is? I basically, I just need to go down there and cut it down because it's making too much shade here. It's probably part of the reason that this one lilac died. Planted a dozen lilacs here when I first moved in. In memory of Mama, who loved her lilacs. These guys are dwarfs, though. They don't do anything. You can see this fast-growing stuff. It's coming up into every little light space. But uh, That's the woods for you. And uh, that was my attempt at a short video showing different varieties of uh, poison ivy and some other common plants around here. Thanks for watching.